Welcome to the tutorial on indices. In this tutorial we will cover fractions and negative numbers. The topics we are going to go through are negative powers, reciprocals, powers of fractions, combining rules, and fractional powers. So let's begin with our first topic. Negative powers. Now the rule here is, if we have x to the power of minus a, that simply becomes 1 over x to the power of a. So x to the power of minus a equals 1 over x to the power of a. Make sure that you remember this rule. Let's run through a simple example. Suppose we have 7 to the power of minus 2. So what is 7 to the power of minus 2? Well, using our rule, that becomes 1 over 7 to the power of 2. And now we can answer the question. 1 over 49. 7 squared is 49. So 7 to the power of minus 2 equals 1 over 49. So please don't forget this very simple rule. Now let's move on to our second topic, reciprocals. Now what do we mean by reciprocals? Well, we know that if we have x to the power of minus 1, that is simply 1 over x. x to the power of minus 1 equals 1 over x. Now this leads on to our rule x to the over y to the power of minus 1. So if we have x over y to the power of minus 1, using the simple rule above, that becomes y over x. So they become inverted. So that leads on to our second rule. x over y to the power of minus 1 equals y over x. Now to explain this, suppose we have 7 over 11 to the power of minus 1. Now to simplify this, all we do is we turn the numbers upside down. So it becomes 11 over 7. And effectively the minus 1 becomes a 1, but we don't need to write that. So 7 over 11 to the power of minus 1 equals 11 over 7. So that is our second rule. x over y to the power of minus 1, we simply invert the numbers. They become y over x. Now let's move on to our third topic, powers of fractions. So let's go through our rule. Suppose we have x over y, the brackets round, to the power of a. Now how do we simplify that? x over y to the, bracket, uh, to the power of a. Well that simply becomes x to the power of a divided by y to the power of a. So we're simply multiplying them out. We're just going to circle this to highlight the fact that this is our third rule. And let's run through a simple example. Suppose we have 5 over 12 to the power of 2. And that is simply 5 
squared divided by 12 squared. So we're using our rule. 5 squared divided by 12 squared. The answer is 25 divided by 144. So our third rule is x over y to the power of a equals x to the power of a divided by y to the power of a. We are now going to move on to our fourth topic. The fourth topic is combining some of the rules we've already learned. So let's run through our rule. Suppose we have x over y, we're going to put the brackets around, to the power of minus n. x over y to the power of minus n. Now how do we simplify that? Well, we're going to first of all use the reciprocal rule. We're going to invert them and get rid of the minus. So it becomes y over x. And you notice we've turned them upside down. The brackets around to the power of n. So we've got rid of the negative sign. That's the first part. Second part is that we're going to use the powers of fractions by multiplying the bracket out. So we've got y to the power of n divided by x to the power of n. So the first rule that we used, and let me jot this down. Well, first let's circle them. In the first part, we used the reciprocal rule. And in the second part, we use the powers of fractions, the two rules that we learned previously. Now, to highlight this, let's run through an example. Suppose we have 4 over 5 to the power of minus 3. So how do we simplify this? First of all, let's use the reciprocal rule and, and get rid of the minus sign. So we turn it upside down. This now becomes 5 over 4 brackets to the power of 3. So we've got rid of the minus sign. Then we're going to use our powers of fractions and we're going to multiply it out. So it becomes 5 to the power of 3 over 4 to the power of 3. And we can answer this question. 5 cubed is 125. 4 cubed is 64. So we have answered the question. 4 over 5 to the power of minus 3 becomes 125 over 64. And that is how we combine the rules of indices. Once you know the basics, you can combine the rules and answer pretty much any question. Now let's move on to our final topic. Fractional powers. Now what do we mean by fractional powers? In this scenario, we have powers which are not numbers but fractions. So suppose we have x to the power of a half. x to the power of a half. That is simply x, let me put a square root sign in front. x to the power of a half is the square root of x. Suppose now we have x to the power of one third. Now this becomes the cube root. And we can continue doing this with just about any fraction. Now let's run through a few simple examples. Suppose we have the number 64 to the power of a half. Now I'm sure you've already worked this out. That becomes 64 let me put this in front, the square 
the, the square root of 64? The answer is 8. That was the first example. Now let's look at the second one. 125 to the power of a third. So let's write this down. 1, 2, 5. And you following our rule, it's a cube root. Now what number multiplied by itself twice gives 1, 2, 5? The answer is 5. Because 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Now we can run through the next one as well. Suppose we have the number 81 to the power of a quarter. 81 to the power of a quarter. Here comes 81. Now what number multiplied by itself four times gives 81? The answer is 3. We have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 will give 81. So the answer is so that is how we use fractional powers to answer the questions that are likely to come up in GCSE Maths. To conclude this tutorial, we are going to run through each of the topics that we have covered along with their associated rules. So let's begin with the first topic that we covered, negative powers. The rule here was x to the power of minus a, that becomes 1 over x to the power of a. So that was the first rule we covered, negative powers. The second topic that we covered was reciprocals. If we have y over x to the power of minus 1, we simply invert the number. In other words, turn it upside down. It becomes x over y. That was the second topic. The third topic we covered was powers of fractions. I'm going to write this rule over here. x over y to the power of a, that becomes x to the power of a over y to the power of a. So we multiply the brackets out. So that was our third rule. And the fourth rule, combining rules, brought these together. So let's go through this. We had x over y to the power of minus n. This becomes y over x because we are inverting the number with the brackets around to the power of n. That becomes y to the power of n over x to the power of n. So that was our fourth rule. And lastly, we had fractional powers. Now we're going to jot this down on the right-hand side. If we have x to the power of, say, a third, that becomes x the cube root. So that was our rule for fractional powers. Now it's worthwhile memorizing these five rules.